like of an offense and a quarterback that is just in complete control and rhythm. Not only is he able to deliver this ball on target downfield, but the accuracy is what allows his receiver to stay on his feet, pick up the remaining yards after the catch, and walks it in for a touchdown. Sly now for the point after. He's got it. And the Patriots are on top. It's 14 to 10. the touchdown here's Sly to kick it away Scott now on the return and he's brought down right at the 25 yard line On first and ten, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up a third down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. That'll be intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Jennings. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. I think you chalk this one up, Mike, to just a rookie mistake. And anytime you have a young signal caller behind center, you're going to have to deal with some of these ups and downs. Every once in a while, they're just not going to see the coverage. They're going to get baited into making a bad throw. That's kind of par for the course. The key is... How fast can these rookie quarterbacks turn the page, move on, and not make the same mistake again? Here's Stevenson, and he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. The motion man here is Horn. And that one shut down right away. Good pressure on the backside. The defense stops him for no game. What can they do here on third down and seven? Operating from the shotgun, it's May. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Sly's kick is good. And the Pats will open up a touchdown lead. It's now 17 to 10. 
And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Scott now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Uh, give up the middle with Swift. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. They'll go again with Swift. They'll mark them down up at the 44-yard line. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. Throwing on first down, it's Williams. That's to the sideline and intercepted. Picked off by Marte Mapu. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the goal line. Nearly a pick six, but he does set up the offense with first and goal. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. So now, after the interception, a sudden change situation. First and goal. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. And he's going the wrong way. Dropped back at the seven. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Now from the seven, it's second and goal. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal, I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. No try and throw. Here's May. And he'll take it on in. Hendrick Bourne. Touchdown, New England. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Out comes Sly for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Pats move out to a 24-10 lead.
Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. Scott now on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Here's first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Williams. That's over the middle and taken in by Odunze. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Now he takes off. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback, realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off, turn into a runner, pick up the first down. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. To throw is Williams. Crush gets incomplete. He did get the pass off, but he got drilled before he let it go. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Out of the shotgun, it's a give to Swift. And a good run there, finds the lane, gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. On third down, here's Swift. Call it a gain of 13. Good for a Bears first down. What we're seeing here in this first half, Mike, is an example of the offensive line, the running back, and the play caller all on the same page. The execution and the ability to continue to pick up chunk plays on the ground has been a great start for this offense. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. That's a short throw caught by Komet. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. Nice first down catch there by Cole Komet. And, Mike, I've had a chance to spend some time with him in Nashville these last couple summers and at our TEU event that I run with George Kittle and Travis Kelsey. And for a big body, for a guy who's just a large, large guy, he can really bend. He can run. He can get in and out of his break. And I think that's a big reason why, as he's continued to develop, he's a very good run blocker. But he's really become that dynamic weapon they thought he would be coming out of Notre Dame just a few years ago. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Throwing is Williams. A quick slant looked in by Moore. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. They got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated.
Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Williams now to throw. He's got it at the seven. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. They'll run with Swift. Down to the goal line. No signal. Is he in? They'll say it did not break the plane, but a real solid gain on first and goal. Here now, second down and goal. Here's William. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked up by Sione Takitaki. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown. And instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll start on the ground with Stevenson. And he's got it to the 14-yard line. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll come back to Soldier Field. Following this. Here's May to throw it on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So on a day where he's completed, give or take half of his passes, Mike, you have to imagine there's a handful of throws he'd like to have back, and I think that last one falls in that category. But the biggest thing, and most fortunately for them, they find themselves with the lead despite a bit of an up-and-down performance out of their quarterback. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play past defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Third and five. Working out of the gun. It's May. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Patriots ready for the punt, as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. A fair catch called for and taken out beyond the 45-yard line. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. Here's Williams on first and ten. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. 
And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. To throw, it's Williams. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. And that keeps them ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Throw it again. It's Williams. Completing that one to Carter. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early. And that... And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. On second down, it's Williams. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Bears will cut into that lead. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. Three tight ends in the game to start the drive. They do try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we in half time, and the visiting Patriots are on top as we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, Welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams leaving the tunnel and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down 
to the kickoff of the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. DeAndre Carter on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Out comes the number one overall pick, Caleb Williams, and the rest of the Chicago offense. And the turnovers have really been the story here. Take you back through the high, or actually the low lights in this one. Not a lot of positives when you have a three interception game under pressure all game long the secondary feasting on his passes a fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and ten they'll start on the ground with Swift a gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And he will not be able to get free. Picking up only a yard. Now, it's third down. Williams. That's caught. It's the tight end to Matt. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Here's Swift. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. A play fake. Now Williams. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. This has been a masterful game plan defensively. I mean, not only have they found their mismatches and been able to exploit them, it's led to seven sacks so far. I mean, even when the offense seems to make an adjustment, Mike, the defense just still seems to be one step ahead of them. They need to get it to the 27. This is third down. Now Williams. And this ball incomplete on third down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Bears are able to get it back within a score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line.
Set to go now on first and ten. He'll start this drive by keeping it himself. And that one's going to be shut down quickly. A minimal game. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. They'll toss right side to Stevenson. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Out of the gun, here's May. Sending it deep, looking for Osborne. And he will go all the way. Hey, Jay Osborne. Touchdown, Patriots. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. Sly now for the point after. His kick is good, and the Patriots will extend this third quarter lead. Following the touchdown, here's Sly to kick it away. Scott now on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Greg, sitting up here with you, this is not the same energy we saw from this team at the start of the game. How much has the defense kind of sapped it out of them? Oh, I think it's a big factor in this game. And when you start taking the ball away at the rate that they have today, it takes a lot of the confidence out of the offense. And I think that's the body language that you're referring to. There is a lot of doubt creeping in to this offense. And it's almost becoming to point where you don't want to be the guy with the ball because you're afraid you're going to give it up. And when it gets to that, man, as an offense, you're in trouble. On first and ten, it's Williams. This one taken in by Odunze. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. A play fake. And they'll throw with Williams. That'll be caught by DeAndre Swift. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing that. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, Chicago. On the give, it's Swift. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Oh, 
off play action. Here's Williams. And is caught downfield by Ogunze. Second time they've connected on this drive. And 19 yards out of this one. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. So they come to the line for first down and 10. They will run it over center with Swift. And he'll be taken down. And he continues to carry the ball well. Another nice one here. But as they find themselves continuing to trail here in the second half, the opposing team's defense is not really concerned about the run game. They need to find a way to use the pass to get the lead and then go back to this run game to close the game out. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. And now we're seeing the game kind of go back and forth. Each team trading blows, trying to establish control over the other. Nice chunk play on the previous play. The defense responds back with a sack. And we're going to see which team can establish a little bit more of this control as the game unfolds. First down was not very good. Here's second and goal. Thrown quickly, that's more on the RPO. And it'll be a gain here, down to the 12-yard line. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same. There's no tells, so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook, and. So far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. Another one through the uprights. He's four for four on the game. And the Bears are able to put up three and cut into the lead. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The number three overall selection, Drake May, headed out for the next Pats possession. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Gibson. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Second down and three. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. That is caught downfield by Douglas and they will bring this into the red zone big connection inside the 20 if you want to score points at a high level in the NFL you have to generate explosive plays and after that big chunk pass play they find themselves now down there in the red zone and this is where you have to finish drives
They're at the 17-yard line now for first and 10. On the ground, Gibson. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Here's a second and nine. A carry now for Gibson. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. Now May has completed to Douglas. And he's got the first down. A great job looking it in, gauging where the marker is, and getting there to set up first and goal. What an impressive drive this has really been, and it's a combination of big plays and third down conversions. Now after that last third down pickup, it's first and goal. They got a chance to finish this really impressive drive and come away with six. They'll come up with nothing there, fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no game. On second and goal, they'll give him another shot. And he churns out some of the hard yards in this area of the field, working it to the three-yard line. Third and goal. The throw is May. That is caught to the goal line and in. Kayshawn Booty. Touchdown, New England. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And, Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. Out comes Sly for the extra point. He's got it. And the Pats are able to extend the lead. the touchdown. Here's Sly to kick it away. Carter on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Out comes Caleb Williams and the rest of this Bears offense. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're trying to keep it going. First and ten. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. into the hands of Moore. A pickup of 12 yards. Good for a Bears first down. 
Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Chicago. And as we see Rome Odunze come up with a nice completion, Mike, let's remember, he's only one of two guys to rank in the top 10 of college football in receiving yards each of the last two seasons. I mean, production, the ability to compete, high point the ball. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. This is what you don't want to see out of your quarterback. As that pocket starts to collapse, the good ones, they can keep their eyes downfield and feel the rush. They don't need to see the rush. Here, his eyes go down. He starts moving around the pocket. Nowhere to go with the ball, and they bring him down for a sack. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. Now Swift. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Third and long. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. That one is batted away. Incomplete. No separation that time. Tightly defended. It brings up fourth down. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. The Patriots offense, ready to get back at it. Hey, Greg, this has been something to watch. Let's go through some of these highlights. Touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. And this is one of those games where dreams are reality, Mike, and you just can't ever predict when you're going to have a game like today where just every play call, every ball that you throw, every option that you have downfield is wide open and productive. It's, it's pretty incredible the ability for them to continue to have their way with this defense because... Barring some sort of change from this secondary where they come up with some answers, I don't even think they're done scoring just yet. On first and ten, here's May. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And they're going to get this all the way up close to the 40-yard line. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. On the option, they give it to Stevenson. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Tyler Gordon there to make the tackle. Second and seven. Now Gibson. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. Working out of the gun. It's May. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, 
Continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. He's found his receiver, Butte. And he will be taken down. A big pickup on what will be the final play of this third quarter. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. It's the tight end Henry in motion. And they'll run it here with Stevenson. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. Again, it'll be Stevenson. Not a lot of room to work there. Well played by the defense. And they set themselves up for third and goal. Here's May. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. Joey Sly comes on. They'll try the field goal here. This a 31-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Patriots will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter. I think at this point in the game, Mike, when you have things under control, not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while, they still were able to manage to add three points. Joey Sly back out to kick this one away. Scott now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bears offense and Caleb Williams set to take over once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly making the right read seemingly every time. Here's first and ten. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbound. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, 
He's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. They'll try again here, second and 10. They'll try to throw again. Here's Williams. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to errant throws, and when errant throws lead to big missed opportunities. On third down, it's Williams. They'll try to set up the screen here to Swift. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. That's incomplete. Daring call on fourth down. Does not work out. And it results in a turnover on down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. They'll run here with Gibson. He'll get this just past the 45 as he's taken down. Here's second and nine. On the give, this is Stevenson. He'll pop this ahead for about four. But it will set up third down. Throwing now is May. He's got Douglas going deep. And on third down, that ball incomplete. I think this defense is wondering where some of these missed throws were earlier in the game. I mean, for a while, it seemed like everything the offense did hit. And after that last incomplete pass, although this game's all but over, this defense will certainly take it. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Bears offense and DeAndre Swift set to get going again. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. To throw is Williams. Here's a screen taken in by Swift. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game. But I like in this case, the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on 